Right, the footage you just saw was Kanone Land Bridge, closed for the first time since 2011. That was taken at uh, roughly the peak flow at Kanone Land. Before that, it was closed in 1988, and before that, 74 and 76. Was, yeah. So this is what we expect to be our peak flow, as the flows have reached peak levels and started dropping upstream from us. But let's let's look at the dam levels. At the Val Dam, uh, it's at 102 percent with an outflow of roughly 500 cubic. Lumov Dam is under 100 percent with an outflow of 866 cubic. Harib Dam is at 104 percent with an outflow of 800 cubic. And Van der Kloof is at 106% with an outflow of a thousand cubic. Now before we go further, I have some footage for you from Van der Kloof dams and from Bloemhof Dam sent by a viewer. He took it yesterday, so it's at slightly reduced level but very close to peak. Now looking further downstream on the lower orange, we have Priska at 4,000 cubic, from the, uh, Uppington at 4,300, and then we have Blowpitch showing 5,500. Now Blowpitch is the odd one out here, it's showing 5,500, which is way, way below all the other points. But if you take into consideration that the dam outflows, which is supposed to be very accurate, that gave us a peak flow of 5,600 at some stage and this correlates now with Blowpits. We don't really know. We don't know is Blowpits correct, is the other stations correct, is the dams correct because if Blowpits is not correct then the dams are out and that would be a scary situation. I can understand the flows reading incorrectly at the other stations on the river because it's the same here. The level, the water level, the water flow right here is higher than 2011, but the level is about 400 to 500 millimeters lower than 2011, even though it's a higher flow rate, and that's because the river is open. In 2011, the river, the islands on the river were all covered with full growth reeds in the river, and everything was blocked up, closed up. We had islands floating down that were like 30 meters across islands of debris. And now the river is open, so the flow is much faster. So I think a serious recalibration of the measuring stations in the river is needed. 
and I believe that this flow will correlate closer to what the dams gives because at the dam you have a concrete measuring point of exactly what the width and height of flow is and you have the speed and you can calculate it. That's the momentum of the water running through the pipe as it stops pumping here. The air valve sucks in air as that momentum slows down and then it stops and it makes a slight water hammer down which gives the final shh on the air valve. And sitting here I see a baboon on Baboon Island. He's sitting in that tree. I'll see if I can take a picture of that but I'm not sure that this camera can reach it. I'll have to re revisit them with the drone. So anyway, that's all I can do for now. Over the weekend I'm hoping to have a bit more time to get uh, some footage and I'll have a revisit to the baboons at Baboon Island. Until this point I believe that they were, uh, they managed to get out while the water level was low. They seem to be happy, They're sitting and watching me. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. And uh, I'll do an update and see you on that one. Cheers.